everybody. This video is about graphing lines if they're not in slope-intercept form. So in the, in the last video, we learned about slope-intercept form, which is commonly written as y equals mx plus b. As you can see, this equation does not look like y equals mx plus b. So one strategy for graphing this line would be, well, we could solve for y. We could get y by itself, thus uh, converting the equation of the line to slope-intercept form. We're going to do that in the next example. In this one, I'm going to show you a technique where you can find the x and y intercepts of the line in order to graph it. So the x-intercept of a line, that's the point where the line crosses the x-axis. Well, if you're on the x-axis, it means your y value is 0. So to find the x-intercept of a line, what you can do is replace the y variable with 0. And then you have an equation that you can solve. And usually it's not even a very difficult equation to solve. Here we have 2x is negative 4, so x is negative 2. That means we know that our line crosses the x-axis at negative 2. And we can do something similar to find the y-intercept. Again, if you are on the y-axis, it means that your x value is 0. You haven't gone left or right. So to find the y-intercept of the line, you can replace the x variable with 0. So to find this y-intercept, I'm going to write 2. Well, we know the x value is 0 if we're living on the y-axis. So we have 2x minus y is negative 4. That means negative y is negative 4. And then if you multiply by negative 1 on both sides, you get y is 4. So that means our y-intercept is 4. So we have two points on this line, meaning that if you connect the two points, you've successfully graphed the line. So sometimes finding the x and y-intercepts is a lot faster than thinking about slope or uh, solving for y. If you want to look over this work, please uh, pause the video because we're going to do one more example. So in the next example, well, maybe you don't feel like finding the intercepts, or maybe there's some, maybe the intercepts are some awkward uh, uh, fraction numbers, and we don't we don't want to deal with those. So in this example, we have an equation that's not in any particular form that's useful. Well, in this case, it's usually your best bet to go ahead and solve this equation for y, thereby putting it in slope-intercept form. So we have 0 is negative y plus 5x. What I want to do is make this equation, 0 is negative y plus 5x, well, I want to make it look like this one. So I need y by itself. Luckily, I can do this in one step. If we simply add y to both sides, we'll move y from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, and we have y equals 5x. So this is slope-intercept form. Just realize 5, that's the number in front of x, that's the slope of the line, and then b, I can always imagine a plus a 0, so the y-intercept of the line is 0. So I'm going to start at the y-intercept, which is 0. And the slope is 5, which I'll interpret as 5 over 1. So for my rise over run, I'm going to go to the right 1 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get a second point. So to graph the line, connect the two dots, and we're done. So those are two basic ways to graph lines. Either convert to slope-intercept form like we did in this example, or as in the previous example, find the x and y intercepts. Hope that helped. See you next time.